From desperate housewife to the big house, actress Felicity Huffman sentenced to jail time for her part in the scandal over parents buying their children's way into prestigious colleges. Correspondent Molly Line has more from Boston. Molly. Hi, Mike. Confessed, contrite, and now sentenced to two weeks in federal prison by a judge in Boston. Felicity Huffman, one of the most recognizable faces embroiled in the college admissions scandal, became the first parent to face justice in the case. Felicity, are you ready for this? In court, she sobbed and apologized to the students, parents, and colleges impacted. She didn't speak to the throng of media waiting outside, but did release a statement promising... I will try and live a more honest life. The former Desperate housewife star pled guilty to one conspiracy and fraud count in May, admitting she paid $15,000 to a phony foundation run by the scheme's mastermind, who paid a talented test taker to correct her daughter's SAT exam. Prosecutors had called for one month in prison and showed little sympathy for Huffman in court or her claims of parenting challenges, saying most parents have a moral compass to not step over the line. The defendant didn't. Huffman's lawyers had argued for probation and community service, but Judge Indira Telwani ultimately determined prison time was warranted. How do you feel about going to jail? Saying in essence, she knew what she was doing was wrong, that it was a fraud. It was not an impulsive act. Trying to be a good mother does not excuse this. Another dozen parents that have also entered guilty pleas face sentencing in the coming months. Most will go before the same judge. The question remains, is Huffman's sentence a benchmark that they can look to? And what could it mean for the parents that are moving forward toward trial, including the other famous face in this case, Lori Laughlin? Felicity Huffman must self-report to a facility to be determined by the Bureau of Prisons on October 25th. Mike? Molly, thanks very much. All eyes are now on Full House star Lori Laughlin, who went a different route and pleaded not guilty for her role in the college admissions scandal and is now facing up to 40 years in prison. Tonight's Legal Eagles are here to weigh in. Civil rights attorney Robert Patillo and criminal defense attorney Katie Cherkowski. Good evening. Great to have you. Thanks, Mike. Felicity Huffman Thanks. gets 14 days in prison, a short period of time, but it's still prison. What is your reaction, Katie, and what are your expectations looking ahead to Lori Laughlin? Sure. Well, quite frankly, it doesn't really matter if she got a day in jail or a year because her reputation is completely ruined forevermore, and the same will apply to Lori Laughlin as well. Now, as far as what Lori Laughlin's sentence will look like, I think that people are pretty much jumping the gun because she may not be convicted, and there's good reasons for that under Supreme Court case law that we could get into for a long time. But assuming that she is found guilty, I don't think that Huffman's case is necessarily very comparable. There's a lot of differences between the facts. There's a lot of differences between the amounts of money exchanged and, quite frankly, the remorse that Felicity Huffman showed won't be something that Lori Laughlin can point to. Robert, is Aunt Becky Laughlin's character on Full House facing serious prison time? Well, I think, one, if you look at the uh, Felicity Huffman case, the 14 days for most people seems like a slap on the wrist for the damage which is done. If you look at Tanya McDowell, who was a homeless woman who enrolled her child in the wrong school district, she was sentenced to five years in prison, not for bribing, but for simply enrolling her child in the wrong school district. You look at Crystal Mason, who voted in the, uh, who uh, voted when she didn't, uh, when she did not know she was not allowed to vote in Texas, who was also sentenced to five years. So the idea of 14 days in prison uh, which will more than likely be club fed, which more than likely she will not serve the entire 14 days is, is very much a slap on the wrist. Turning to uh, Lori Laughlin's case, I do think she's going to use Aunt Becky as being part of her defense, this idea of, her, of being the character, of being this loving uh, family woman, as opposed to the cold facts, which, which are that she spent a half million dollars to bribe her children into school. We have to stop giving these criminals so much cover, stop letting them cry in front of the court in order to get sympathy and treat Treat them as the criminal masterminds who did exactly what they did and need to serve the time which is allotted for that crime. The judge in Felicity Huffman's case said today, quote, I think this is the right sentence here. You can move forward and rebuild your life after this. Without this sentence, I think the community around you would ask why you got away with this. Do you agree, Katie? I think that the sentence was pretty much what we expected. I mean, the prosecutors were only looking for one month in jail. She pled guilty. That gives her a great benefit to begin with. And the, the maximum sentence that she was facing just wasn't that great for what she did. So I think it was reasonable. Of course, 
People want to see a pound of flesh for what she did. It was very entitled and dishonest, but that, that is not really outside the norm. That's very, that's very reasonable from what let, we see. Let me play for you what Meghan McCain said today about this case, and I'll ask you to respond. I have a lot of fears about possibly becoming a mother. I don't think that makes you bribe someone to break the law. Like, yeah. it, I don't understand the logical connection. They are the poster children for what everyone hates about white privilege, and she deserves to go to jail. Your reaction to that, Robert? I think Meghan McCain is actually completely correct on that. I think that when most people look at this, and uh, it goes to this idea, this myth of the American meritocracy that we have, this idea that you can work hard, keep your nose clean, stay out of trouble, and you will prosper in this country. No, what makes you prosper in this country is having rich parents who can buy your way into college, who can buy your way into that internship, buy your way into that job that you need. So, of course, the punishment should have been more severe. 30 days should have been the absolute minimum that she spent, if, if not longer, in custody, primarily because it cuts at the very soul of the American higher educational system and this concept that certain people get treated differently because of race, because of wealth, because of their positioning in society, and they do not have to play by the same rules as the rest of us. Robert Patillo, Katie Tchaikovsky, thanks so much. Thanks. Thank you.